Not at home. There you go. Very good uh, morning, everybody. Hello, Sid. Hello, Terence. Sorry for me to be here. I know you see enough of me usually over the years, but um, I've got a few second-hand pieces of kit to show you. And uh, some giveaways, because I know uh, a few of you felt left out with the FT991 that um, one of our customers very kindly donated. Uh, that's going out on Monday to the young fellow. He's a lucky boy, isn't he? Uh, I tell you what, before we're going to look at some um, second-hand gear, we're going to wait for a few more. Uh, hello, Tony. Uh, and hello, uh, Ray, just seen pop up. I'm going to show you one of the products that uh, we've been looking at for quite a while. Yes, it is uh, good afternoon. You're dead right. But there are places in the world, Steve, where it is morning, of course. So, um, Right. Who's seen this? Robert, hello to you. This is the new... Um, carry cage that uh, has been manufactured in the States for use with the um, IC705. We did go on about the IC705, don't we seem to be, uh, without question, the best selling radio of uh, 2020. There it is. This cage fits around the whole radio. Um, handle goes down. I can't really convey to you how yeah, one, yeah, I do too. I haven't actually, uh, we haven't got stock of these yet. This is a sample that they sent us. These handles, by the way, are removable. You can actually remove them. The other big advantage is, is that when, apart from the fact that, of course, it really is going to protect it, I don't mind admitting probably it would, it would certainly withstand a small knock if it landed on one of these edges. And because this hand, the handles are higher, in the front panel as you can see it'll protect it if it lands on the floor that way um, these will be available in stock in about two weeks time when they finally get over from the states through customs which is slightly uh, bonkers at the moment um, they're 159.95 they're not cheap um, but we're doing those at a special offer price the re first release price of 139.95 ray so um, no i don't want to drop my 705 i have to admit um, so there it is. It's very compact. It isn't cheap, but it is well made. Um, and <laughs> um, it's got a bracket here, so you can indeed mount the Z bracket. The advantage of this is actually is that when it is mounted, when it sits on the table, it sits at that angle, which is quite nice. I think you'll agree. And hello, Simon, to you and Ray. Um, so this still fits on the bottom. That's the IC705, the Mydale 705 cage, in stock in about two weeks' time. Order now on the web at 139.95, including that. Right, um, so that's the cage out of the way. A couple of second-hand bits. Oh, 590s, by the way. TS590s, for those of you that have been waiting for the uh, JBC Kemba TS590, finally arrived in stock, and we've actually got a few left out of the batch. Um, and Terry's got, uh, uh, I've got one lovely bit of kit, yes, they are, aren't they? Um, so the 590s are available from stock now. That's the HF and 6 metre transceiver from Kenwood. Um, Peter Hart raved about it when you reviewed it quite a few years ago. We usually always permanently out of stock, finally they're back in. And hello to, uh, hello to Gazlab, uh, my, my lovely old mate, um, Gary, is beavering away in uh, customer support at work. Um, and I said, just pop on and answer some of the questions if I can't keep up for it all. And very good afternoon to you, Chris. Right, so I'm going to come around that side uh, and just show you a piece of kit that I booked in this morning. Um, and uh, if I do this and do that, there you go. Right, look at that. That's an IC746. This, of course, has been long uh, superseded with the IC7400, the 7410. This is used... Yes, you can see the price 595 but what i like about this is 100 watts on hf and six and also 100 watts on two meters so i often get asked have you got a good two meter um multi-mode transceiver um they're actually quite hard to come by these days first of all none of the jack manufacturers make two meters only uh, once the um the licensing conditions were uh, altered um with regards to cw they stopped making um uh, two meter only uh, rigs of course but there it is ic746 it really is in lovely nick no box i'm afraid um, but there it is with the a proper icom hm36 microphone 
DC cable, the proper um, icon one by the looks of it, no box and the manual you have to download from um, uh, the web. Um, available now, 595 quid, so that, that's uh, actually here. Okay. Be in your shack next week, there you go, have a think about that, I think it's up on the website. And there's a TS590 by the way, uh, actually in stock new. Uh, look at the web and you'll see the prices of those. Right, other used pieces of kit. Um, FTDX 3000, spoken about these, I've got these finally in new as well, um, but there's a, an immaculate uh, used one and we're offering a year's warranty on that, so 1099 quid, so that's £300 saving and you still get the year's warranty. There's a second hand TS590 SG, already spoken about that, but again, big saving on list, only 1100 quid, same as the 3000. These two do sort of compete with each other. Yes you, uh, yes, you can pick up a 705 case from the showroom Ray when they arrive. Um, we only placed the order, we placed the order weeks ago, uh, but they are shipping from the States on Monday. Um, so leave it 10, 14 days. But the stock indicator, if you go on to our website and um, click notify me when from stock because we were on a proper live stock indicator on our website you'll get an, an email um, another 590 SG goodness me uh, uh, 1099 pounds we get we've sold hundreds and hundreds of these so we do get them in used what do they come in for normally TS 590s and other radios but uh, sorry 890s the big brother of it hello from Iceland um, very, very good. Um, is it morning over there? I can never keep up with which time zone you're in. FT450D. Now, this really... Crikey, did he actually use it? Let's show us. See, it's got the MLS sticker on it. That's improved the uh, resale value. Um, TS59... Uh, FT450D at 595. So that's um, 150 quid off list. And again, that would come with a minimum of a year's uh, parts and labour warranty. Heatherlight Hunter, which is lovely. I remember um, Heatherlight when they were manufacturing these, um, but it's sold, so it's not worth talking about that. Um, I see 9700. Who wants to get on um, 2 metres and 70 cents and 23? Uh, why spend 1800 quid on a new one? I mean, you can have a mint used one for 1475. Um, and I think you'll agree. That's a is that? Oh no, it's just, I think it, maybe it had a sticker there. Can you see a very slight blemish there on the top? Um, but that's available from stock in lovely condition. 1495, uh, 1475, in fact, SP23, 149 quid. There's a THD74E here, but I've got a sneaky used one at 100 odd pounds off list but I think it's sold, so apologies for that. And shock horror, what has Tony, my sales manager, been buying in? Uh, <clears throat> this is a CB, but we'll ignore that bit. There's nothing wrong with CB, but this is a uh, 28 meg all-mode legal multi-mode transceiver for 10 metres uh, and uh, about 20, 30 watts out on FM, um, 20 watts, 30 watts PP um, uh, for SSB, upper and lower sideband. And that's 159 quid. I think these are 200 plus new. And it apps, I know, no, not CB. And hello to uh, M1 ECC. Um, you're very welcome on the 3000. I bet you're looking forward to getting your hands on that. Um, that's it, second hand wise. Um, that's actually out at the moment. I can see there's a whole ton of it that's up at the uh, counter end that uh, John uh, KHS is uh, booking in. Now, for those of you that missed our giveaway, let's just go around here. For those of you that missed our giveaway yesterday, the 991, in fact, it was already pre-planned, so apologies for that. Um, Tony said, oh, we've got a few customers out there feeling a little bit left out. I'm going to do a little goodie pack, um, a little goodie bag. And uh, he got some uh, gifts together. And the way this gift it works is the first two customers that place an order on the web, doesn't matter whether it's for 10 quid or 500 quid, um, the first two that come in after the video is finished, after this live stream is finished, will get sent one of these. There's only two of them. So let me show you what uh, Tony's got here. And there it is. He's got a rather splendid Yezu cap. Uh, these things I use on my bags. If you see these coming off the carousel um, in, um, in the airport, what the hell's an airport? Um, these go around handles. 
And the idea is they make the handle of your, ca of your um, suitcase um, a lot, lot uh, more comfortable. Rather weird, but um, that's uh, unique to Yezu, but I think they do work very well. A Kenwood, because we are the UK sole dealer and distributor for Kenwood Electronics, we've got some Kenwood um, drink mats, and I've actually got these at home. They're great. They last for years and years and years. They're a sort of a rubbery, non-slip mm -hmm. mat. Oh, goodness me, look, Tony's popped up. Say hello to Tony, chaps. He's just, just popped fish and chip surprise. Are you having fit? I haven't had my lunch yet, Tony, and it's quarter to two. Right, these are great. These are from MMP, our lovely Italian manufacturers who make um, uh, all the coax and plugs we sell. These are superb um, wipes for your glasses and other things. Hello, Tom. Um, pens. Oh, Tony's been raiding our pen box. Here you go. Some Kenwood pens. Another pen from um, Senator Liberty. Goodness, I need to um, This is rather splendid. For those of you who like a beer at home, what about your own Kenwood beer mat? There you go. Or beer towel, should I say. Or you can even use it if you play golf. Once we will be allowed to play golf eventually, no doubt. But that's rather nice. And also, to top it all off, it'll all be thrown... Hello, Dave. OGA, um, GKH. Um, a nice diamond bag. So all that, this is, oh, and finally, God, it just never ends, does it? Um, a product from Kenwood. And this is their lamp. You normally get those with um, 705s, but it looks like um, we've got a couple spare. It's all right, I'm just uh, picking up that fell on the floor. So all that, there it all is, for the first two customers to place an order via the web, not ringing us up, via the web after the uh, show has finished, this live stream has finished. Um, right, let's just do this. Get round here again, am I? Oh, no, not quite, let's just see what Tony, poor old Tony has to go through now. And I've got to get this right because he, I've heard him say several times, I've got to frame it right because Martin will have a go at me. And actually it isn't quite right because you can't see enough of my shiny head. Um, other things to mention, still looking for an engineer, another bench engineer. Um, one of you must be out there. Um, uh, we do need one more um, online servicing to, to component level. Drop us uh, an email, drop uh, an email to recruitment. You'll see the um, post for uh, that uh, position on our website at the very top under recruitment. Uh, if you live locally, uh, it is advantage to you. Uh, you know, I travelled 100 miles into work, did have a chap who worked for me initially. We lived in Bournemouth and another one in Oxford. The poor guys were worn out by, by the time they got stuck in all the traffic coming to the store. So, bench engineer we still need. And secondly, uh, we need a further part-time um, Saturday person. So, if you're sitting at home getting terribly bored and you do know the hobby well and you're enthusiastic, you don't have to be a top flight salesman or anything else, we just want uh, enthusiastic, knowledgeable people about amateur radio, drop us again uh, a line via recruitment. I haven't actually put this post up, but we're always looking for Saturday help. As what it actually allows us to do is um, our weekly guys who are in day in, day out in the week, they can have uh, the odd Saturday off. So um, if you feel that you'd like uh, to come in on a Saturday, not every Saturday, maybe one Saturday in four or two Saturdays in four, whatever, um, drop us a line uh, or give Dan or Tony a ring uh, in the week next week. Um, 0345 2300 Further news, um, Jonathan is moving house, uh, or has been moving house this week, so congratulations to Jonathan and his young lady. They've moved into their new property. Very good, well done. Um, now all the bills will start coming in for him. That's why you haven't seen him for the past week. Um, uh, the live, sorry, the uh, we, we, Gary and myself are getting together probably tomorrow morning to do our podcast. I, I overheard a phone call earlier saying, where's the podcast last week? But because Jonathan's been beavering away, packing stuff up and moving into a nice new shiny uh, property. Well, it's new, but it's, it's the first property he's owned. Good luck to him. Um, I think that's it. We're still super busy. Uh, I'm uh, very pleased to say Acom is shipping us a huge delivery of amplifiers and they'll start coming over to us and winging their way on road uh, through customs finally and um, into the store. Uh, good afternoon, Mark, and hello, Brian. Oh, good old Mike, PGA. Now, there's a chap that 
Mike and I go back a long way. We used to deal with each other when I was at Burnley and Brenda's. And Mike and Val living in Devon, living the life in Devon. <laughs> That's great, eh? Um, but uh, I haven't seen Mike for a while, uh, but I'm sure we're both keeping well. Lovely to see you pop up and say hello. Um, so other news, yes, stock is arriving. It is, some of it's getting really, really difficult. Um, MFJ, we had a delivery, but there's so many bits missing. Um, customers, uh, sorry, uh, manufacturers are just short of components. Um, the customs uh, and import is slowly getting sorted out um, into the country, and it will get better and better as the months go by. Congratulations to Jonathan. Yes, Brett, I hope he reads that because it, it is a. Do you remember when you moved into your first house? I think mine was 1978. And uh, <clears throat> I was working part time for Bernie and Brenda then, at Amateur Radio Exchange. Didn't start till 1980. And uh, a chap called Russell, I won't say who, but he came into the shop when I was a Saturday boy with Bernie and Brenda in Northfields and said, I'm absolutely worn out. And hello from uh, Essex. Hello, Richard. Uh, you were 12, Ray. You were 12. Was that when you bought your first house? No, I'm, I've lost track there. I'm sure you'll come up and tell me. So, uh, 1978, 79 was when I bought my first house. This chap came into Bernie and Brenda's after me living there two or three years in my first little house, it was in Hanwell, and said, I'm worn out, I've been looking at houses all over Ealing. I said, Don't look no further, I'm selling mine. And uh, to cut a very long story short, um, he came round with his wife after I finished the shop with Bernie, went back to my little house in Hanwell and said, providing I leave all the benches in my shack and an 80 foot tower in my garden with a 14 element parabeam and God knows what else on top, he'll do the deal. And the rest is history because he did do the deal. And that was it. And he actually knew. So I sold my house to another radio head. Amazing. Right. That's it from me. Hope you're still awake. Hope you've had a, an enjoyable um, 20 minutes or so watching me waffle on about not a lot. Please keep the orders coming in. Please keep playing amateur radio. Uh, we will look after you to the highest order we can. And um, I remember the meets at your parents' place. Lots of memories, Mike. Yes, that was, um, that was even longer ago, wasn't it? Yes, you certainly did. That's how long Mick Hammond and myself have known each other. So uh, uh, I've been selling it for, forever and ever. 73 to you all, 73 to Terry as well. Don't forget, I'm finishing now. Get that order in. Uh, the two orders in and they'll get all these goodies on the table sent and hello to uh, ian from stoke that's it uh see you next week bye bye cheers ray <laughs>